Today, we're taking a look at the brand new character coming out this weekend. Um, it is Masters of the Universe Steve Austin, the unpredictable bionic man. Um, so he is an acrobat, which it's a toy line, so really you could make anybody an acrobat and it would work. Uh, let's take a peek at the card. So modern era acrobat, chaotic. He's a coach. Coach ability, oh, excellent. Black gem and yellow gem damage um, at 17k talent, 16% um, more damage. So this is awesome because uh, currently, like, Lacey is the only dual gem damage coach. Uh, so she's purple and green, he's black and yellow, which makes me think there's going to be a red and blue one in the future, which would be nice. Take a look at the links. Uh, the standard Masters of the Universe moves that generate any color gems will create two more any color gems. Modern Era linked for 5% more gem damage and just the standard set of gears. So we're gonna take a look at a couple different movesets for him. He's got a lot of interchangeable moves, I think. Uh, it could be very easy to make seven or eight um, viable movesets with him, I think. I'm going to try to keep it to like three or four, but we'll see. Um, lots of potential here. So the first set I'm going to look at is a three-star move set. Uh, we're going with blue two and then double purple. So the blue two move is the unpredictable bionic stun gun, 6 MP. Deal 66,416 damage and choose three columns to make into multiply gems of strike three. Uh, the Unpredictable Bionic Press, which is purple 1, deal 57,467 damage and make 29 random gems into Snowfall Gems, which will modify all gems below it into purple gems when broken by you. And then the purple 2 move, the Unpredictable Bionic Diving Elbow, deal 55,018 damage and make 23 Snowfall Gems into Blue Gems. So the thought process here is to throw down the multiply gems, put down the snowfall gems, and then turn them blue. So the blue, um, snow, like turning the snowfall gems into blue gems will recharge the stun gun, and then the multiply gems will increase the purple gem damage and everything should refill itself. Uh, trainers and coaches, Keeping it fairly simple, we're going to go with Woods for more starting MP. My tour perks are almost maxed, so we really could go without an MP trainer, but I'm just going to pretend that they're not. So we're going to use Woods to get going on turn one, because both of the purple moves are five charge. So even without tour perks, with Woods on there, those two moves will be turn one. So Woods for more purple MP. We're going to use Matt Hardy to increase the strength of our multiply gems. Um, if you don't have Matt Hardy, Acrofin Valor would do multiply gems, do more damage. So that's a decent alternative. We're going to go with Lacey as a coach for more purple gem damage. And we're going to go with Afa as a coach as well for more blue gem damage. And a quick peek at the belt. I'm going to go half Fury, half Armor because the move damage metal I have is an Armor one. It adds 42,000 flat to purple moves just so that we've got 20% gem defense, 20% gem damage, 5% gem damage from the strap bonus, a flat 42k for purple moves. Uh, I'm not going to put a plate on for this one, uh, but the smoke plate, when you break blue, you get purple MP. Not that it's super necessary. Um, could be good if you don't use an MP trainer and you want to get everything going on turn, uh, turn two. Could load everything up for you. Uh, we're going to take this first spin against AJ Styles, also at 5 silver, also belted, so this should be fairly evenly matched, and uh, let's see how it goes. I wonder what his intro looks like. Standard Austin intro. 
I'm alright with it. So purple moves are ready. Gonna do, uh, we're getting 89,000 and 87,000 with the flat move metal. So we're gonna hit the bionic press. Alright, so we've got a little more than half the board covered. Uh, really didn't feel the need to put a blue gem generator on. Just doesn't seem like a good idea. Uh, so we'll hit the bionic diving elbow, and this, in theory, should charge up all three moves. That hissing sound has got to go. Got to go. All right, so we're gonna put down three columns of multiply gems. And I'm just gonna put them in the middle See, the move says three, it says three, but we do have Matt Hardy on, so it is actually five. We're going to put down the Snowfall gems. We're going to cover some of the Multiply gems because it is random. We don't get to choose. If we got to choose, we'd put it right at the top here, and that way we'd guarantee we'd get, you know, six by three. We'd get 18 Multiply gems, but it's random, so we'll just throw them out, see where they land. Okay, so that's decent, and that's decent. Now we're gonna turn them into blue gems. And that noise means we kept them down. So let's see, 37,000 on that uh, blue gem, 34,000 on that purple. Jesus Christ. All right, so that was, uh, that was heavy. And the funny thing about that moveset is, like, purple gems are his secondary color, and they did that much damage. Uh, we're going to take a look at a moveset towards the end that focuses on his primary gem damage, and that's going to be, like, if you looked, we hit, what, 881,000 uh, before, like, belt defense and all that stuff. For purple gems, which again, secondary color. So that's already super promising. Uh, let's uh, let's move on with the preview and take a look at a four-star moveset. Four-star moveset we're going to look at is double red with the finisher. So the finisher is the unpredictable bionic stunner deal 120,525 damage choose one row to destroy and pin the opponent it's a 10 mp uh, red one the unpredictable bionic spine buster 5 mp deal 61,236 damage and choose five gems to make into snowfall gems which will modify all gems below it into red gems when broken by you and red 2, the unpredictable bionic stomps, 5 MP as well, deal 58,547 damage and choose two gems to make into X break gems. So the theory behind this one is you would throw out your, um, your snowfall gems, you get to choose, so you'd put them at the top of the board and then choose two gems to make into X breaks. So I'm thinking like it, the board is seven by seven, so you would put the in the five in the middle and leave um, like columns one and seven without one, and then you would put the X breaks like in the middle and try to blow up more of the board. Um, to me, the problem with this one is trying to charge the blue, so we'll see how this goes. Um, 
trainers and coaches, we're going to use Sting for more Red MP. Uh, Tech DDP for more cross break gems, or X break gems, sorry, not cross break. Uh, we're going to use Typhoon for more red gem damage. And then, because I'm not entirely sure how we're going to get the blue charged right away, uh, like hopefully we can explode a bunch of the board and that'll charge the finisher. But if not, I'm going to put Trickster Andre on just to charge up blue faster in case something goes wrong. Uh, taking a look at the belt, the only thing I changed for the belt was bringing in a tier 5 blue percent medal. Um, absolutely gutted that I had to take it off my Icon Charlotte, but it is what it is. It's for the greater good. She'll survive for a little bit. Uh, so we're adding 200% to that finisher, which could be nuts. So let's see how this one plays out. So again, with these red moves being five charge, um, even when tour perks are not active, with a 5k MP trainer, you'll have them both ready to go. Hmm. Okay. So. Choose five gems to make into snowfall gems, which will modify all gems below it into red gems when broken by you. And we don't really have anything on the top two rows and we also don't have a blue match Ew, what a terrible board okay you know what let's just let's put them here and we'll just put them there for now just to say we have them and then we'll place these And we'll go there in the middle because we'll move this green one over to match. Then I'll make them blue and then that'll explode all over the place. Um, no, let's, sorry, let's move it up a row. Okay. Now with our luck, I'm going to swipe this gem and he's going to dodge. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Bang! And that didn't even charge the finisher. But that's still 260,000 on turn one. The reds are loaded again. So the good thing about the snowfall gems is they reload themselves. It's just the, the fact that is like we're gonna have to take another turn to get this done. Um, I'm just gonna swipe and then hopefully he doesn't connect any blue gems and then we can we can see how this works in theory all right Okay, so this is what I saw in my head when I first looked at this move set. We'll use red one and we'll go there. And we have three cross breaks. We'll put one in the middle to get the corners, and then one up and one down just to try to get as much of columns one and seven as we can. And then finisher with the 200% medals, 344,000. So we're gonna hit the finisher. Good Lord, he sold that like the rock. Man. That, I'm not frozen. I'm just like in awe of that animation. <laughs> How well they have the opponent selling that stunner. Good lord. Okay, I want this character just for that animation alone. Anyways, choose one row to destroy. 
We're going to destroy the very top row. We're going to turn all this into red, which is going to hit these X breaks, and it's going to blow stuff up. It's just going to blow stuff up. Bang! Now, the thing with... Okay, so 596,000. That's crazy. And he almost kicked out. So that's a... That's fairly efficient. My only fear with that is loading the finisher, like, at five-star gold. I don't see that keeping down an opponent right away. So you'll need to hope that you cascade some more blue gems? But otherwise, it's fine. Just worried about loading up that finisher, that's all. And there isn't a skill plate where it's like break red, get blue. So if that were to come out, that would obviously be a, the perfect plate for this. Um, you could put a two words for you plate on just to get a couple more X breaks out. And that would hopefully fill up your finisher more. Uh, but decent moveset. Again, no tour perks. You're still getting those things off turn one. Um, let's take a look at the five star moveset. So the third moveset we're going to take a look at is the five star moveset of triple blue. So we're going to be running the finisher and the unpredictable bionic stun gun again. But we're going to bring in blue three, which is the unpredictable bionic guillotine. A 6 MP move. Deal 64,598 damage and choose two gems to make into snowfall gems, which will modify all gems below it into blue gems when broken by you. So this has the potential to be absolutely nasty, and I'm super excited. Um, with a level 3 tour perk and Lawler, these will both be turn 1. So we'll take a look at the Entourage. We're going to use Lawler for more blue MP. We're going to use Sami Zayn for more blue move damage. We're going to use Afa for more blue gem damage, and Trickster Andre, just because I don't have um, a blue move coach, but if you did, that would be ideal. I'm just going to leave Andre on there in case something goes horribly wrong. And we're going to keep the same belt with the 200% metal. And this could get ugly fast for AJ, so let's see what happens. So with the move metal, our finisher is hitting 398,000, blue 2 is hitting 219,000, and blue 3 is hitting 213,000. So that's with a 200% metal and a 45% trainer. Uh, what we want to do is put down the multiply gems first. And we've got a spot here because we can swipe the purple and then it'll latch on to these blue ones as well. So that's, oh, it's three. Oh my goodness. I, I know exactly what I'm doing. Don't, don't worry about it. Um, put that there. I know what I'm doing. Leave me alone. So it's three columns, even though you get two gems. So I'll throw that on that one. Uh, so now you use the guillotine, and it's a choose move. We'll go there. And then we'll swipe. Nice. Good, I wanted him to kick out because I wanted to see how insane the damage was with the finisher. Wow, we dodged. So we only get two snowfall gems. 
So I'm going to put the multiplies. So I'll put a snowfall gem there, and I'll put a snowfall gem there. So we'll just do that. And then we'll place our snowfalls. And we'll hit our finisher. God, that is so cool looking. And we'll destroy the top row. These will break, turn into blue. They'll hit this multiply and this multiply. And we'll be golden. Done. So a couple ways you could go about the triple blue setup. Uh, you could do move damage focus, you could do gem damage focus. So I think, I think I'm gonna run this same move set again with a different trainer setup. So let's see how that looks. So I'm gonna try the same move set again, but instead of Lawler for blue MP and Sammy for move damage, I'm going to use Hardy to increase our multiply gem strength. And I'm going to use Rob Van Dam for 35% more gem damage. Um, if you don't have him, you could use uh, Acrobat Edge. He does the same thing. If you don't have him, you could use uh, Striker Sasha for flat blue gem damage. So I'm gonna see how this looks with um, the 200% metal for the move damage and then focusing on blue gem damage and see how this turns out. So of course we don't get a blue match. That would have been nice considering we have Trickster Andre. Yeah, of course. Everything's coming out Millhouse. Still no blue match. Can at least get rid of some of his. Like I could use that, but there's no match at the top, so I'm not gonna waste it. I'll hold. At least get rid of some of his color turns. So frustrating. Oh god. Was that necessary? I'm gonna go with no, that wasn't necessary. Ugh. And still no blue match. And how far away from good god. Just come on. I just want to blow stuff up. Of course we get the blue match when we don't even need it. Whatever. Alright, so that was painful, but we got there. So three columns to make into multiply gems of strength three. So I'm going to be turning two columns into blue. So I want to see if I can get, and there's two there. So I won't turn this one blue, but I'll turn these ones blue. And then we can latch onto that and that. Okay. 
And we'll place those up here. And I'll look before I explode everything, but blue gems with a times five is 50,000 freaking damage. All right, good night, AJ. It's been nice knowing you. So 344,000 from the move damage for a grand total of... Good lord. That's almost worth... <sighs> like, if it's gonna take me five turns to get a blue match to get that going, I will gladly wait. That was nuts. I don't think I've ever hit a pin like that before. Good God. Good God. That's probably a good place to end the preview, to be honest. I could look at other movesets. I don't think I want to run anything. Like, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's just, let's just do it again. I just, I just want to do it again. I don't care that he's going to deal damage. I just... Wow. Let's just make sure that wasn't, like, a one-off. Obviously it isn't, but... Let's just... Let's just do it again. This is going to be fun. Blue match! And he didn't dodge. All that's right in the world. Alright, AJ, time to die! I'm gonna turn this one blue, and I'm gonna turn this one blue. And then we can latch onto those, latch onto those. So I'll make the. Let's go there. No. Let's just. No. Hmm. I want to turn that one because there's three of them. I want that one to be multiple gems because, yeah, let's just do it all in the middle. So those will all turn blue, and then we'll get those three. He's got 1.23 million health. That was fun. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, you could always put, if you had a multiply gem coach, um, most electrifying man rock, the Miz, or zombie taker, you could put that on instead of trickster Andre. Um, and that would just make that even more insane. That would be, that would be just nutter bar. Holy hell. Holy hell. Alright, so I'm not going to run any more movesets, but I will talk about some options. So, the double purple and the double red. Um, I don't really 
I mean, you, you could do double purple with the X-break move. You could throw the X-break move in here. But I don't really see it being more effective than triple... Um, I don't see it being more effective than triple blue. But what I'm thinking is... I feel like blue one and blue two are fairly interchangeable. Um, because if you're going to be blowing up the entire board, you don't need to worry about a finisher to help pin. So I feel like depending on your metal situation as well, like if you have a tier five percent then absolutely go with the finisher and just buff that damage if you don't um you know flat purple you could run the blue too and just get more damage there um i also feel like yeah because i showed double purple and i showed double red but i feel like either of those movesets would work with either the multiply columns or the finisher. Um, it would just depend if, if you have enough boosts to the finisher to make it hit really hard. And if you don't, you could just do a gem damage focus and build around your multiply gems. And if you don't have Matt Hardy, uh, then you could use the finisher instead. And that's another alternative. Um, so overall, I think very versatile card depending on you know what trainers you have or don't have what your metal situation is like i feel like there's workarounds for every roster situation um and i don't feel like you need insane trainers and coaches like you could use a, an mp trainer and then just a standard uh gem damage you know if you have slick rick or you could do um like double purple, you could use a purple gem damage trainer, double red, you could use a red gem damage trainer, uh, like Showboat Wendy, I think everyone has Showboat Wendy, she's purple and red, I believe. Uh, blue gems, everyone just got Trickster, um, Striker Sasha, so you could focus on your gem damage, focus on your move damage. There are uh, very viable alternatives depending on the roster you have. So. Overall impressions, I mean, it's hard to say you don't like a card when they hit a 1.2 million pin. That's insane. Um, let me know what you think. That finisher animation is also absolutely incredible. Uh, so let me know in the comments if this is going to be your best Austin. It would certainly be mine. Um, let me know if you're going to chase for the card. Um, let me know your favorite setup. There are, like I said, a lot of really good ones. So let me know what setup you're liking. Uh, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching. Take care.